Hello everybody, welcome back to our vlog. My name is Oka. My name is Clara. And what are we doing today, Clara? Today we are going to be covering the large network of support that students here at Radgar University get. So we are going to be covering study associations, we are going to be covering student associations. And what is that difference between those two things even are? Because I sure didn't know before filming this video. <laughs> and you're also going to learn about umbrella associations. Yes. A third category. Can we get more complex than that? <laughs> uh, it's like a big like pyramid scheme. Yes. Um, in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Also, we are going to give you tips and tricks on how to get student discounts around Nijmegen and in general in the Netherlands and in Europe when you travel around. Indeed. So this video is going to cover a lot of the things that you don't really know before like going to university and learning about all of the extracurriculars that you have access to here. So it's, I think it's going to be very useful for new prospective students to figure out exactly like other than studying, what are you going to spend your time here in Nijmegen doing? Yes, this time we are taking the fun into the university and what the university has uh, to offer to you. Indeed. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Can we put some magic here? <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, I am uh, I'm Luke Sprung. I am the current chairman of uh, Study Association Synergy. Uh, I am a fourth year uh, international business administration student. What would you say a student organization is? Um, like, what purpose does it serve? How would you describe it to an international student from a country who doesn't have the same mm -hmm. concept? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, easy question, of course. Uh, so, as, as a study, as we are a study association, so not a student organization. Student organizations are more like uh, fraternities and, um, and sororities, like more for drinking and uh, that sort of stuff. We are a study association, and study associations are specifically for students uh, that all study the same, um, the same thing. And we, as Synergy, we have three purposes. Uh, first of all, we are the bridge between theory and practice because uh, university is a very theoretical place and you learn uh, all sorts of things uh, from books and from presentations and lectures and whatever. Um, but a lot of times people miss a connection to practice. So we facilitate contact between students and companies. So uh, through our events, you can meet uh, companies uh, in the field, people that could be your future employer, uh, companies that uh, hold workshops, trainings, and other uh, informative um, sessions to give you some practical hands-on knowledge, things that you do not learn at university, but you learn in field, and we can kind of combine those. Uh, furthermore, um, we also uh, represent students uh, for university. So if you have any questions relating to education, uh, we have one person in the board that handles all those questions. So for instance, if your lecturer is basically not really doing his or her job, uh, then you can come to us and we will try to fix it. Uh, if there's any problem with examinations, if you have questions about your schedule, if you have any other educational affairs related questions, you you can also come to us and we will fix those or try to fix those at least. Uh, and last but not least, we are a student organization, so we also uh, facilitate contact between students. So we do that by not only formal activities, as I named before, but also we organize a lot of parties and drinks, uh, sports activities, uh, informal activities, um, whatever you can think of. So bridge the gap between theory and practice, uh, represent students uh, for their educational needs, and connect students. That's basically what a study association does. Hi Marlon, uh, thank you very much for joining us today over Zoom. Very different type of vlogging that we are doing with Clara this, year, this time. Why should an international student join a study association? But what I think is really important for international students is like we have an international committee who really helps the international students to integrate within the study, within Nijmegen. Because of course when you come here from a 
very different country uh, for foreign country everything here in the Netherlands is new you have to go to university you never seen you have to you have lots of people around you who don't speak English so I think we as Babylon can really help you with that if um, because when you have questions you can also contact one person from the international committee uh, you can start making friends it already starts during the introduction week of course when you meet Babylon and you meet new people so you're not alone in the country you're not alone uh, here if you join a study association uh, where you can meet a lot of new people and always ask for help and tips to deal with a yeah, very new situation. Come here. All right, so um, we promised to tell a little bit about the discounts uh, that you can get in Nijmegen huh? and traveling in Europe. So the biggest tip that I can give is actually get yourself an IC card. IC card is for free for students. So you just need to register, download the card and the app on your phone, and there you go. You get discounts all over the Netherlands, Amsterdam, Utrecht, Rotterdam, Groningen, Nijmegen, and all over, the Europe, all over Europe as well. Uh, next up is Knack. Knack is a Dutch company, student company that provides discounts to students as well. So you can also register on their website uh, by the link here. And Clara, you shared something with me about discounts and how you get them sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so in a lot of the stores and, and cafes in Nijmegen, uh, if you ask them if they have a student discount, then they usually do. So with like uh, the Falafel Place and the Grote Markt and Pro Art, which is also in the city center, art stores, cafes, a lot of them have student discounts. So when you are uh, sort of paying for the stuff, if you do, hey, do you have a student discount? And then they ask you to show your Radboud student card, which you should get in the first couple months of classes. Uh, and then you can get like 10 to 15 percent off of your purchase which is really great it's free money yep. and what is the downside of it that you always forget to ask for this yes don't forget because every time i am always walking away from the checkout thing and i'm like ah, student discount yeah so that's a very important point and also with your Radboud card you can visit museums as well for example the Falakov Museum uh, is for free for students uh, for Radboud University mm -hmm. so there's a lot of chances and opportunities to just take them on and get the discounts and save money. Save money. So the next interview that we are going to do is with the Umbrella Association for the Faculty of Social Sciences, Olympus. Uh, so let's learn a little bit more about what exactly an Umbrella Association is. Uh, I am the treasurer of uh, the Umbrella Association, Olympus. Uh, furthermore, I study biology and I am in my fourth year. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to do a board year in Olympus, in the Umbrella Association, because uh, Olympus connects uh, students from multiple student organizations. Uh, with the Umbrella Association, uh, we exist more to uh, help out the student organizations. So we host uh, big activities such as um, Base Face, uh, some of the international students who have uh, been here for a more longer time, may know this party. This is in uh, one of the concert halls uh, close to the station, Don Roosje. Uh, we also host uh, a big activity like movie nights where uh, we are uh, for in the Huygens building. You can purchase a ticket for like three euros, I think, and you can watch uh, like five movies uh, that night until like five in the morning. <laughs> uh, furthermore, uh, we well, what I mentioned earlier, we are uh, existing to help out the student organizations from the uh, science faculty. That means we also provide information for uh, the members of the, the student organizations about what the faculty board wants in kinds of rules and uh, how we manage our spaces. For the international students, um, we know you uh, interact with students from your own uh, student organization but um, if you go to one of our activities uh, that are quite large uh, you can also find uh, international students from uh, other study organizations and um, I think that's really fun because you can get to know other students from interdisciplinary fields and you can expand your network a little and get to know other international students a little bit more.
ESN Nine Eight stands for Erasmus Student Network. So we're an organisation that's here for all international students and internationally minded Dutch students coincide. We work together with a lot of international students from the Kapel and from Mahan, uh, and we do a wide range of activities from uh, integration events to minus from a party events. Uh, food committee, event committee, things like this. Uh, we also have integration events, so we have things like a touch of Dutch or language cafe. So at language cafe, you would have the opportunity to have sit at a French table or a Dutch table or a German table to just converse and see what we can do. And then with integration, it's just uh, working with disadvantaged schools or dog shelters. It's a real diverse opportunity within that and help them integrate into Dutch culture. Well, you're more than welcome to drop by for a tea or a coffee. We have a lot and students always, always like a free tea or coffee. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for watching our vlog yes, this time. Yes, thank you for making it all the way to the end. I know it was a lot of information, but hopefully you have come out of this with a better understanding of organizations on campus. And what kind of support you can receive from the university in the sense of creating your network, getting discounts, and being a comfortable student. Joining committees, yes. Yeah. Participating in the university in general. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next vlog. Yes. And also don't forget to follow Study at Radboud Instagram and Facebook pages. If you're, we share a lot of uh, interesting information for international students. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and comment down below. We'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.